Hello everyone. I'm back. I have 10.69.1. I just installed it. This is my very first drive. I have not driven this yet. So I'm going back to Midtown. It's actually taking a different way than I used to normally drive through here, but I'm going to the same destinations. Um, it's a roundabout. It's um, really taking its time, but it worked great. Just a little, little bit of hesitation there. We have a bicyclist on the right. It's kind of dusk. Bicyclist on the right. Oh, it moved over. I actually crossed the line to give bicyclists room. That was pretty amazing. It's going to turn left here. Um, we have this like median thing in the middle. Okay, it cleared it perfectly. Oh, it's great. There was cars coming. There was pedestrians actually walking across the road, so the car was going slow. Um, they just crossed the road. You can see it on the screen here. Um, this is unprotected stop, so this is great. It's creeping forward. I mean, it's clear we're in the middle of the road, like cargo. <laughs> that needs some work. This is a four-way stop, so it should just stop and proceed through. Um, it's still hesitating quite a lot. It, that car turned blue for some reason. It's a four-way stop. It didn't really need to do that. Let's just make this bigger. It's easier to see. This is another unprotected stop. Um, it's clear on the left, it's super hard to see on the right. Like you can't see at all. The car has to really pull forward. I'm pretty much in the middle of the road as it's creeping, but I mean, I guess that's okay because it was clear on the left and the car knew that. So, I mean, it's better to be safe. It definitely cre creeped pretty far though. Okay, so we need to get past this like construction area. This is another four way stop, so. There's a chain link fence here. Oh wait, yeah, it actually moved over for the chain link fence that was sticking up. It used to make a left here. This is a one-way street. There's like this weird bike lane over here that they added and a parking lane. Yeah, and there's like this truck parked out. You can see it turn red on the screen here. A lot going on. Cars opening doors. And here is my stopping spot. I'm not sure why it turned on the signal here, but it did. Okay, so I'm at my first stop. Okay, we're back. I went to a really amazing vegan ice cream and donut shop called Babes. Very good. So I just made a right hand turn and it was stopping for that truck that was actually turning. Uh, it's, like, it's crazy how much different this is. Like, you know, when I think back about, you know, the very first night with FSD beta and you guys remember the car was like swerving all over the place and it literally made me and, and my best friend sick. Um, you know, now it's like driving pretty well. There's actually a car coming to the left. So that little blue line, the creep line disappeared as soon as the light turned green and it just proceeded. This is great. Um, anyway, so, you know, like driving the software now compared to how it was, it's like night and day difference, you know? Um, oh, interesting. It was attempting to change lanes. There was a car that was actually pulling to the road and then back onto the curb, the car canceled the lane change maneuver, went back to the right, and then did it again after that car. That was really cool. That was the first time I've seen it do that kind of maneuver before. Anyway, it's like a night day difference with how it's driving, you know, like now I'm, I'm feeling it like creep around cars and 
you're you you feel it reacting like a normal human would drive, which is just phenomenal. Okay, so now we have a crossing. We have a train crossing. I've never actually interacted with this before. Oh, and it was trying to stop for this pedestrian that was starting to walk in the walkway. <laughs> it like braked really hard. I've never seen, I've never seen it react to a train before. This is the first. So, it's stopping. It's creeping up. I, I feel like I'm gonna have to disengage here. My foot is right over that brake pedal, you guys. <laughs> I'm ready to jump in here and if something happens. Okay, turn on the signal. Oh, look at that. I haven't disengaged you guys. Okay, the red light's disappearing. Holy cow! It worked! You guys, I'm in a state of shock. Like, it reacted to the the train signal. It's never done that before. I have goosebumps right now. Like, this is wild. Okay, so we have a four-way stop here that they just installed. The car was actually slowing down. It actually saw the stop signs from all the way back there. This is always a super busy intersection um, during the day. There's a lot of people crossing. Um, I think I've had this in like a video before, but this handled it so well, like the car's driving really smoothly to the point where like it's not making me feel jumpy or anything like that. So we should pass this, this is 16th Street in Midtown. Okay, it's just going to go through the yellow, which is fine. We actually have plenty of time. So we need to make a left hand turn here. Dang, this is like really, it's, it's driving so much more natural. This is wild. Okay, there's scooters, there's pedestrian crossing. Oh, it already detected it from way back there. Okay, so I just actually tapped the throttle a little bit because we're kind of sitting far back there. Um, and I would have moved up personally just a little bit but that's okay the car was waiting for the pedestrian this was perfectly safe that's how it should should be acting just like personally i would have moved my car up a little bit so because i was basically impeding the lane of traffic but man it's stopping like perfectly okay so we have these like weird like traffic Median things with little pylons, like wacky. I don't know why they're doing this, but a lot going on here. You know, there's a lot of traffic, parked cars, scooters, pedestrians everywhere. It's hard to see because it's at nighttime here, but there's people walking all over the place. We're in mid, um, actually we're in downtown Sacramento now. We should be making a left hand, left hand turn. I put West Elm in the destination here, so it should be, it always struggled here in the previous builds because they put all these, again, they put pylons, there's like a curb sticking out, like it's, it's really challenging, honestly. Like even for a regular driver, Oh, it did it. It didn't hit anything. It, so we have like um, uh, old railroad tracks. The car thought it was a line and it shifted over, but it, it negotiated it perfectly. Um, there's a lot of traffic coming from the right here and it's generally pretty fast. I've had to disengage here in previous builds because it just, it would just go out in front of traffic sometimes and I'd have to cut it out. But this is a very busy street and 
like I would have gone because the cars are yielding for the pedestrians. Let's just see how it handles it. It's clear after this. Okay, perfect. So we're at West Elm. We got right to the, the destination point. Okay, here we go. Now we're going to be leaving Midtown, downtown Midtown area. Like, honestly, I wouldn't be driving this fast in here, but we're actually going the speed limit, so. It's a very tight turn. Wow, it's, it's really clearing the curbs now. Like, you know, in previous versions, I've always complained about, like, the fact that it gets really close to curbs. It's giving plenty of space now. Like, I'm not even feeling like I need to intervene because it's actually giving so much space now. I, I feel a lot more comfortable. So this is challenging. We're next to a construction zone. Like, I mean, you can't even, I mean, you can see through the chain link fence, but man. It saw the car. There's another car coming. So there's pedestrians. Man, this is, this is wild. I have not had to disengage. Okay, pedestrians, there's another car here. It's detected it in blue. Another car here, making a right. So after this, I should be pretty much clear to go. Wow. This is getting so good, you guys. So like, okay, that was a perfect example of there was a driver back there that flashed their high beams to tell me to go. You know, the car doesn't know what that means. It just is detecting if it's safe or not. Wow. I'm, I'm like really kind of like speechless here. I'm, I'm pretty impressed and we're, at, we're driving at night. So now what we're doing is we're heading from downtown into midtown and we're heading towards the interstate. Now in the past, it is not handled getting on the interstate correctly from surface streets onto the interstate. I've always had to disengage. We'll just see how it goes just to entertain it. But gosh, it's coming up to these stops like perfectly and stopping. It's not like you know, in previous versions, I used to always say, why is it stopping so far back? And other times it like stops so far ahead. And now it's like, stop, it's decelerating like I would. Like I'd start decelerating here and, and gradually stop. It's not just like slamming on the brakes. Like this is, this is really good. And we have a car up here, hazards on, sticking out in the lane. The car just crossed right over I don't even have lane lines here, you guys. Like this is, I pretty much only have lane lines right near an intersection, but it's, there's no markings. It's driving on the right hand side of the road. Like here's a roundabout that it was, it challenged this in the past. Worked perfect. This is so great. And it's at night. Oh, man. This is great. So speechless like the car just moved over to the left a little bit there was actually a pedestrian standing next to the car that I didn't even see like this is wild this is driving amazing so like it's hesitating a little bit coming out of the intersections when the light turns green that's fine you know it's it's pretty it's, it's driving safely it, I feel like it's kind of making sure that the cars are really stopping they're not gonna run the red and then I'm going which is good. I mean, it's actually being a safe driver. I, I really like this. Like, I don't feel like impatient, like I need to push the car, if that makes sense. Like, it's, it feels like it's being a little cautious when it's leaving a green light like this. 
and then it's going to go. Like, it's making sure, in fact, it's all clear. It's positioning itself great. Like, normally, it would have cut really close to curves and made me very uncomfortable. It hasn't done that at all. Wow, it's reacting so well to the lions. Wow, and this is Midtown. Like, I went around roundabouts. Literally a train. Okay, so... I actually just had my very first disengagement. Okay, so my first disengagement, and it was because the map data put the car in the left-hand lane. It should have actually been in these two lanes here to get on the, the ramp, so... Honestly, you guys, that's really amazing to me. You know, you've seen me drive into town on all these unmarked roads and roundabouts and crazy stuff, and I generally have a number of disengagements um, because it's getting too close to curbs or, you know, like it's not handling something correctly or, you know, going too fast or slow, whatever. That was impressive. I mean, we saw a train we saw a construction area that was completely included on the right hand side of the car. And I mean, this is, this is great. Just great. 